Hi guys, welcome to this video. It's the 1st of November 2025. That means there's a new release of the Cairo ISO. Let's install it and then go over what changed. So that's the ISO we're talking about. It's on SourceForge now. And if I want to reinstall it because it's already there, I need to reboot into the firmware of VirtualBox to the CD-ROM. Again, write always AMD, Intel, NVIDIA guys. And if you don't know, the save graphics. I'll go for the first line in a virtual box or an Intel machine or an AMD machine or anything else. A virtual machine, right? Probably best to take the first one. And then you get into an XFCE kind of setting. And what you see is what you get. You'll get all this software already installed and then remove or add things later on. Install Arc Linux. Calamaris is there to help us quickly click, click, click through it. And then we go for choices like the keyboard, Belgian keyboard, erase disk, no swap is why my choice, but there are options. You click on the drop down and see. So that's already tested. So already tested here in virtual machine, second time on Nvidia machine to the left, on Intel machine to the right. So it all works in the meantime while that's doing its job let's have a look at the changes so what did i change in the last uh, steps episodes and git ahead is gone i'm working now with giddy up right git ahead, git ahead well a few weeks ago right we could not build it anymore it couldn't run then you start figuring out the package build can i fix it no yes no so i just moved to giddy up and it's a different kind of look. I need to uh, get accustomed to it. But basically what changed in Cairo ISO, so the ISO as such, is uh, numbers of course, you see each time, each day, I update my system and it gets the appropriate number, daytime, right? But um, probably the mirror list somewhere is in here chaotic mirror list there wasn't an, an issue with it and uh, contacted the guys from Garuda and said okay fix it it's fixed already so quickly done nitrogen is gone uh, it's an application to set the wallpaper in anything tiling winner manager basically but since I'm using variety this little guy up here uh, makes my life so interesting and I can choose whatever wallpaper I can at the moment and, and so on. There are so many possibilities. I don't need nitrogen, so bye. Git ahead git, right? Did not work anymore, so it's giddy up now. That's already in the system. Should have seen it somewhere up here. That giddy up is uh, now in. And all these guys are just uh, each day I'll update. You see the number 25, 26, 25, 26. So the main thing is the giddy up and git ahead is gone. And another thing that I've done is add um, the new, well, old, but new, the extra icons, beauty line and candy icons git are basically icons from Celtic AOR. But what we've done to the item icons and control um, this one, super F, sorry. Let's do this again. Where are you? Or oh, let's do it here. Right. Restore now. Done. In the meantime, everything is installed. The, the fail there is normal. It's virtual box thing. Won't happen on real metal. Let's quickly do a super R so we don't have to wait. We boot up into Arch. It's system D, right? It's no graphics, black, and who cares, right? We just want to get into our system. And now we have choices, Wayland, forget about it, but XFC if you like, or ChatWM, but then I have to kill Pykem inside VirtualBox. Again, no issue, Pykem on real metal. And nobody's working on VirtualBox, right? Blah, 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 blah. And then Alt N for the next wallpaper. And we get this. That's better. So, um, What changed? I've changed the icons that we have here. So this is the surfing icons, but there is the possibility to change your icons in appearance. And what is added 
is a smart way to ensure that applications that currently are not inside the Neo Candy icon. So this is created by me, right? And it uses the beauty line icons and the candy icons, but I've added a line and the, the kind of depends line and depends on the beauty line and the candy icon. So whatever is new in here, when we update and we get new updates in from beauty line, not from me, candy icons, not from me, right? These icons that are missing in the Neo Candy icons will come from here, right? So that's, um, it's better, I think, right? A fall safe, uh, this gets developed and then there are very, very hundreds, if not thousands icons of games, right? And if he develops it, right? It will be also part of Neo Candy icons, well, part of this Cairo setting, right? That's important, get ahead, get up, basically, I think, if um, you look at um, all the changes, those are the main changes. Of course, the Ctrl Alt E is something that's just ongoing, which is the Arch Linux tweak tool. It's always going to be getting updates because of the Arch Linux keyring and the Celtic keyring and Celtic um, uh, mirror list. So these guys, right? These guys have also the necessity to sign keyring, and where is it? Mirror list. So keyring from Arch and keyring from Celtic is part of Arch Linux tweak tool. And whenever I see that there's a new update coming in, right, I'll make a new Arch Linux tweak tool. That's it. That's it. Um, for the rest, we need to update the ICO already. It's just one, one line, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to do this, right? I keep often, right, try to keep in this virtual box, uh, sorry, in this um, terminal and see what's going on rather than having this nice little guy here, PAMEC, which is working fine as well. You can browse, etc. You have a look at what's possible here, right? Different. And you can see this way quickly, okay, what's inside core, extra multi lit nemesis repo, what can I get from Chaotic AOR? And Beauty Line is here, one of the icons. That's it for me. Maybe I forgot something. Um, then it's going to be all documented online, right? And the GitHub pushes and it's, of course, it's always called update. I know, right? But uh, it's a script that runs every morning when I boot up. It's just going to change the date. And sometimes we do change code, like an Arch ISO uh, update last month. This month there is no Arch ISO update. So cool, less work and more fun. Cheers.